Ki India are registered NGO working on pan India basis are trying to create awareness on different subjects at school level and in masses to boost morale of our team we request your good self to please like and subscribe our channel you can also contact us to subscribe our monthly magazine consumer times as we all know on the 15th of march every year is celebrated as world consumer rights day the theme of this year is fair digital finance as the term used to describe the impact of new technologies on the financial services industry it includes a variety of products applications processes and business models that have transformed the traditional way of providing banking and financial services digital finance same as fintech it drives the financial industry to be smarter and more agile allowing it to make processes faster than ever Digital banking is a move from traditional banking activities to a digital one where consumers can avail the banking services online through their mobile phones or laptop. Digital financial services DFS comprises a broad range of financial services accessed and delivered through digital channels including payments, credit, savings, remittances and insurance. It also includes mobile financial services. Digital finance has some benefits. For instance, digital finance can lead to greater financial inclusion, expansion of financial services to non-financial sectors, and the expansion of basic services to individuals since nearly 50% of people in the developing world already own a mobile phone digital financial services DFS. comprises a broad range of financial services accessed and delivered through digital channels including payments credit savings remittances and insurance it also includes mobile financial services digital finance is a financial service delivered through mobile phones personal computers the internet or cards linked to a reliable digital payment system digital finance has the potential to provide affordable convenient and secure banking service digital finance provides greater control using digital technology to access financial services known as fintech is becoming an everyday occurrence for millions of us and is set to be a growing trend in how we spend send and save money people can now pay bills transfer money and access their bank statements easily using their computer or mobile phone In higher income countries this gives greater choice and convenience in developing countries the growth in digital financial services has given millions of consumers who previously had little or no access to a bank account access to financial services for the first time but with technology developing so fast it can be hard to keep up We are concerned that consumer protection mechanisms within financial services are being outpaced by the development of mobile banking and associated technologies. Financial technology or fintech is reshaping the financial services sector as we know it. From driving greater competition within the industry to widening access to core financial services for consumers without a basic bank account. Fintech has the potential to deliver many positive outcomes for consumers. There are however a number of risks and consumer detriments are emerging from fintech including issues around privacy, cybercrime and gaps in regulation. Banking on the future an exploration of fintech and the consumer interest explores how and why fintech is transforming financial services markets. and takes an in-depth look at the challenges and opportunities for consumers due to demonetization in india covid pandemic usage of digital finance has increased rapidly in india op payment systems are broadly accepted and see good growth it recorded 17.9 million digital transactions per month in 2016 raised up to 1.3 billion per month in 2020 Whereas cryptocurrencies are a unique type of fintech with the potential to transform every vertical of the financial sector from trading and investments to payments or lending. Digitized banking has reached over 420 million people in India, making space for digital financial inclusion. This is playing a large hand in bringing socio-economic behavioral changes towards digital finance.
It is allowing India's rural and semi-rural population to be open to using digital gateways securely. Due to this inclusion, the country's digital payment value is expected to grow more than double to $135.2 billion by 2023. While this growth has been commendable, it still needs to see large-scale percolation across class and economic barriers for people across classes to use their digital literacy skills to use such digital finance features. Technology is acting as a chronicler in India's digital inclusion revolution by offering easy-to-use mobile applications, multiple regional language modes, speed, and offering safe and secure transactions to the masses. It is aiding digital financial inclusion across the country with the use of digital payment gateways like Rupay, Bheem, and other mobile payment solutions. A fine example of how digital inclusion through digital literacy is enriching the Indian economy across classes is the adoption of digital payment by over 15 million pop and mom stores or grocery stores across India. The digital transformation of India has rubbed off on the NBFC sector too. The digital literacy skills of the population are enabling NBFCs to leverage technology for process automation to enhance customer connect. New generation NBFCs are leveraging partnership networks across the value chain of lead generation, client onboarding, underwriting, credit, loan disbursement, and collection more than ever before. Lenders may now assess individual consumer insights and create alternative credit rating models using artificial intelligence, machine learning and big data. While India to a great extent has covered digital literacy grounds, digital financial inclusion remains the need of the hour for the country. Cumulative participation of the whole country in digital finance will pave the way for economic growth in tandem with global numbers. As a young nation, digital financial inclusion is the key to ensuring egalitarian percolation of digitalization's benefits. It is the most effective step towards inclusive development. Eventually, financial inclusiveness will give the freedom to dream and live on one's own terms. It will provide wind to the hopes of millions of Indians across the country. At local, national and global levels, fair digital finance is very important for economic growth and civil society. Presenting her fourth union budget on February 1, 2022 Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman noted the role of our country's resilience in the recovery of the economy. Growth this year is expected to be the highest amongst major economies at a reassuring 9.2%. Moreover the budget proposal mentions that the digital rupee will be introduced by the Reserve Bank of India RBI, in free 2022-23. Introduction of Central Bank Digital Currency CBDC, will give a big boost to the digital economy. Digital currency will also lead to a more efficient and cheaper currency management system. Our Prime Minister Honorable Sri Narendra Modi ji also appreciated it, and said that this is necessary for economic growth of the country now we all should do advocacy for fair digital finance and help our country to grow faster dignity India also manages a women's skill development center and senior citizen home in Abha, Fazalka district Punjab you can also be part of this noble and also donate for it donations attract benefit under section 80g of income tax act Thanks a lot of watching the video please feel free to give suggestion, send motivational videos for the of benefit society, raise your voice by making and sending plays, stories etc let us create awareness together. Please feel free to call us if you require any help, you can also be a part of our team or channel as a member or associate please call us our contact phone no at 9818-0039-990 or on another phone no at 9540-0039-99 or email at info.consumertimes at gmail.com visit our website www.consumertimes.in please like this video please like share and subscribe our channel will motivate our team to work hard thank you